Right, Brian. So uh, two main things to go over here, right? The sweet child of mine stuff and then the uh, tie your mother down riff. Right, so sweet child of mine. Now this guitar, I've tuned this back up to standard, okay? So um, if you want to do it this way, playing along with the real thing, just make sure you, you tune it back down to uh, E flat, okay? So what we've got is, so you know the riff anyway, so I won't go through that again, right? But I'll just, just a couple of little things on it, right? So number one, to get that kind of, so you've got the Strat just like this. So in order to get that kind of Les Paul slash type tone, right? It's not, it's, you're not really going to get it with this type of guitar, but you can try, right? So main thing is neck pick up and roll down the tone a bit, okay? So, so at least you kind of get that creamy tone with it. That's about the best you can do with it anyway. So the main thing is to do it slow and steady. So we were saying that if you do it at 115 beats per minute, so let me just get this up here. Um, whenever you're ready. Uh, okay. Okay, so it'll be. Yeah, so when you get to the point where stuff like that stops happening and you get it perfect, then move it up, then and only then move up the tempo, okay? And I know that's frustratingly slow, but teaching yourself to kind of hold back and, and keep a solid slow rhythm like that is really important, okay? And it really benefits your playing in general, okay? So, but the thing is, you'll, you'll start going up through the tempos pretty quick once you get a proper handle of it at that speed, right? So like, the time it takes for you to get to your first tempo increase of going from 115 to 120 is going to be a lot more than it's going to take probably to get from 120 to 125 because you'll already have the, the go of it then so you just catch up to that tempo straight on to the next one next one next one that's always going to be the best way to go about it okay so chords then simple enough we've got uh, d uh, so now yeah, for the chords rhythm section again in terms of tone you want relatively high tone um because it's fairly bright bit of chorus they have chorus on there with the rhythm guitars as well and probably the middle pickup i would say so yeah so we got d major regular and just remember to get that e string out of there okay c add nine guitar's a bit out of tune it doesn't matter then g get that third finger bent back the way like that it's, it's, it's a good idea to get used to doing that with your third finger it's it's handy it just that one in particular you tend to bend it in that way a lot that sort of stuff um okay so that's the uh, the verse chorus then simple enough there's there's a lead part going over the chorus as well we'll get to that in a second So just A power chord, C, D. Now, then we were talking about this bit. So again, go back to the neck pickup, bring the tone back down. Now, what's more important than this particular melody, as I was saying, is how we figured out how to play it, right? So we said, okay, this song is in the key of D major. We find D on the sixth string. If it's major, we take that to be our top note of the natural minor scale or the pentatonic scale, doesn't matter. Well, it does, but you can do either, all right? So there's our scale. If it was D minor that we're in, then we find D again, but then we take that for, as our bottom note. Okay, so, and then it was just a case of following the scale. And it just comes right out of there, nice and easy. Okay, so that's all. That's about as much as we got to on uh, Sweet Child of Mine. So then tie your mother down. Um, so again, now this is a real sort of bridge pickup. You want that kind of twangy down air now. Okay, so it's got that da 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 where the fast drums come in threes. One to the, 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 okay? So, uh, let me just give it a quick listen. Okay. 
So now remember that when you go up to A power chord, when you go up to the C here, the first thing you do, you don't hit it, hit the open A again, you do a pull off first and then hit it. Wrong, let me try that again. those four chords in between it then you just hit a G just like that just emphasize the bass strings a bit more okay so you've got G first finger goes up middle finger comes away then C that's kind of C add nine shape that we we're doing earlier on and they do the same thing so All right, so um, that's about it. So as usual, any questions, give us a shout and I'll see you next time. Talk to you.